Yo, yo, slap on your gloves, grab your tools of choice, and hey, meet me in the kitchen, y'all. I want to welcome you back once again to my channel. I am your man, Keep a Cup Can Cook. And hey, what we starting here today, y'all, is I failed to count how many weeks it is till Thanksgiving, but hey, we starting this Thanksgiving series off. Today, every Sunday, I will be highlighting either an entree or a side dish, y'all. And what we're going to do, we're going to do this until the week before Thanksgiving. And by that time, hey, if you follow this process, anything you like for your Thanksgiving table, hey, I'm going to serve it up to you, y'all. With that said, Week one series of this series, we going with the Cornish Hen. That's right, y'all, because I know you read that title. Let's get right to the supporting cast. We got us some lemons. Ain't no specific way on how to cut anything up today, y'all. Just cut it up. Hey, I got some of that compound butter that I made probably about uh, three or four days ago. Hey, room temperature is softened, y'all. Hey, looking at the camera, what can you tell me that is? Hit me in the comment section. What's the name for this right here? But what we got, we got some, we got red onion, y'all. We got carrots and celery. That's right, y'all. It's called that Miroquois. You got it. Hey, but here's the star right here. We got the game Cornish hen, y'all. Already been cleaned up. Of course, they've been thawed. Get all the stuff out of the, the inside cavity. Come with a lot of pipe with ice. Anything. Fragments. Um, cut the tails off. All of that stuff, any excess fat, feathers, all of that stuff, y'all. Take it off, clean your chicken up, your hen, dry it off. Hey, I got some that I already prepared, but I needed to prepare these on the camera for you guys. So, what we got, we are gonna get our kosher salt. Cause what you really wanna do if you have the time, 30 minutes prior, go ahead and get your kosher salt and really be liberal with it. Go ahead and get that salt in there on the front side, on the back side. Don't be scared, y'all. It's a lot of meat, so go ahead and get it, get it salted. Get some down inside the cavity. Get a little bit down in that cavity. Now what that's gonna do, is gonna bring the waters out, the skin. And it's gonna allow for a crisper skin, y'all. But that's what we doing, we roasting here today, y'all. So if you can, if you have the time to do it, do this step ahead of time. You can sit it back in the refrigerator, let it dry out some. That means a crispier skin, okay? So, with that said, what we gonna do here, I'm gonna sit these to the side for just a few minutes, and we gonna work on this Miroquois. Cause this Miroquois is gonna actually act as a bed for our hands. So, we just gonna get them tossed right into the bowl. Get yourself a bigger bowl. And place your Miroquois right on in, inside of that. You got to get that avocado oil on deck, y'all. A higher smoke point. 
It's gonna be in the oven roasting for a while, so. You wanna get yourself some olive oil, get it coated. And we're gonna bring some more salt into the pitcher. You wanna salt your vegetables, y'all. It helps to release the waters. And then we're just gonna get those all coated in that good oil, y'all. We wanna get it all over all the vegetables. While they're in the oven, they're gonna be releasing the flavor, but we don't want them to burn either. So get them coated in that oil. Lost with celery. That's okay. I got plenty. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and bring this the hen back into the pitcher. Go ahead and bring that compound butter in. Now the first thing I want to do is pack my inside. I got me some parsley, some rosemary some thyme, and some garlic cloves, y'all. I'm just gonna leave them whole like this. All you really have to do is take some of the paper off because you don't want that to burn, okay? Okay, so what we gonna do? We gonna take a little, couple of sprigs of this thyme. Not a lot. It don't take a whole lot. Go put that, pack that down in the inside of your cavity first. Then you want to take one of your your lemon heads and go ahead and pack it in there. What that's going to do, first of all, is going to allow the time not to escape and it's going to lubricate that time and, and so on and so forth that it don't burn while it's down in the inside of that cavity. We're just going to repeat that process with all four. I ain't going to be before you that long because the oven going to do the work for me today. But yeah, we want to put that time down in there first and then secure it with that lemon. That's right, y'all. Secure it with the lemon. The juices from the lemon and the juices from the chicken is what's going to cook it and bring the flavors out of it that it don't burn. All right, now we're gonna take that out the picture and we're gonna work with this compound butter, y'all. Now, this butter, I'm telling you, y'all, this butter, if you could smell this butter right here, this that compound butter that I made a few days ago, of course, with softened, um, unsalted butter, parsley, and um, garlic, got it mixed up, got it refrigerator, now it's softened. Hey, we going on. We want to massage this in, y'all, as much as possible. Use as much as you can on it. You can put some down inside the cavity as well, but you really want to be liberal with it, y'all. But that's another reason why you want your, your hen to be dry. Cause you wanna be able to spread this on. And this is what's gonna help to crisp up that chicken. This hen as well, y'all, the skin. Crisp it up and bring in flavor. You know how we say it, flavor 
on top of flavor, y'all. Don't be scared to touch your meat. Get it all over there. Get it all on there. I like to cook the from my breast up. Not breast down, breast up. All right, now that you got those good and buttered up, I'm gonna go ahead and, actually I ain't even gonna take my gloves off cause we're gonna get it right back mixed up anyway. We're gonna bring our pan into play. That's right y'all, we're gonna put these I got quite a few of them that I'm doing, but we doing them on aluminum pans. Hey, anytime I can cut down on the dish water, hey, it's all good for me. So, first thing we wanna do is go ahead and get that Miracroix. See, now I can use this extra butter and stuff that's on my gloves to get it on my vegetables. Let me use this hand, get it off of this hand. It's always a method to the madness, y'all. Always a method to the madness. But that's what you want to do. Get those in there, get them spread it out. Now, we're going to introduce this lemon back into the plate. What we essentially doing, y'all, we building a bed. We building a nest. Ain't that what the bird be doing? They build them a nest. We building a nest for our birds to rest on. That way, it's up off the bottom of the pan. The drippings that coming from the bird and the drippings that's coming from the salted vegetables, they all are gonna release and help to roast. Come on, y'all. Stick with me, y'all. Stick with me. Now we got that thyme going in and rosemary. We're gonna put that parsley. You know how they had that bird's nest looking? Get it all spread it out there. And I'm just gonna drop these clothes in there. One on each side. And then begin to put your birds on the nest. Get them in there snug. I like my breast on top. Give them adequate room. Don't let them touch. Because if they start touching, then they're going to steam. But you don't want them to steam. That's right, y'all. You want them to roast. Any excess butter, go ahead and throw it on there like that. Ain't no right or right right or wrong way of doing this y'all just building flavor on top of flavor y'all hey and there you have it y'all game cornish hen going in that same 425 degree oven hey i'm gonna baste it every 10 minutes until it's done i'll be back with you and i'll let you know exactly how long it took. I am your man.
Keeper Cup can cook. I'm going to clean up my workstation, put this in that oven. Hey, I'll be back. All right, y'all. I am your man, Keeper Cup can cook. And hey, I know you see it. I know you see it. We got that game, Cornish Hen. Oh man, hey, this took one hour and 10 minutes. 425 degrees, y'all. 165 degrees internal temp. I'm liking what I see, I'm liking what I smell. I am your man. That's right, y'all. Keep a cup can cook, he doing it. Demonstrating and putting it on the plate right before your very eyes. Hey, before I go into this taste test, hit that subscribe button for me, y'all, and give me the thumbs up. Give me that thumbs up, y'all. That's right, we highlighting all YouTube chefs that I follow people that pour cooking knowledge into my personal life, we highlighting it, we demonstrating, and we putting it on a plate right before your eyes. Hey, as I said in the beginning, I've started my Thanksgiving series, episode number one, Cornish, roasted Cornish hens, y'all. Roasted Cornish hens. Let's go in for the taste test. That's all I'm gonna do. See how easy that pulls out off of there? Oh my goodness. Man, I'm telling you, the house is smelling amazing, y'all. My goodness, and I'm going in. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this is over the top goodness right here. I'm telling you, that compound butter is seeped all the way through there. I even taste the lemon in there. And it's still in the cavity right now, y'all. But hey, I'm telling you, man, hands down, get back in your kitchen, y'all. Get back in your kitchen. Thanksgiving is approaching. I'm on that Thanksgiving series, episode one. We got that roasted Cornish game hen, y'all. And I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. And with that said, I'm out. Bye.